I see a lot of videos on cybersecurity certifications and which one you should get to start your career. However, what they don't mention is that there are so many different opportunities in cybersecurity that no one certificate will cover it all. So I created this video to give you different pathways along with different certificates that go with each pathway and some really good skills. I also created a video on various jobs in each pathway if you want to go check that out. By the end of the video, not only will you know the correct cybersecurity certificates to get, but you also have a better awareness of all the different types of jobs in cybersecurity. A common question that comes up, are cybersecurity certificates worth it? They are worth it for several reasons. That is number one, they pass the HR filter. Number two, they do give you a structured learning path. So if you're all over the place, starting with a certificate and instead of chasing all of the squirrels around, you can just focus on this one cert and it will give you confidence if you pass this cert and you can bring that confidence into a job interview. I don't like cybersecurity certificates because a certificate does not mean you're actually competent. It just means you have the base foundation knowledge and that's about it. Do not confuse credentials and degrees with actually being competent and skillful. Please do not do this. And that is my disclaimer for the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Leave any criticisms you may have or questions you may have below. I really use that feedback to improve my videos as they are not perfect and I would appreciate it. All right, let's get into it. The eight jobs that I will be going over are network security engineer, uh, which is what I am, by the way, I work with the OWASP top 10 WAFs. And number two is penetration tester, incident security analyst, cybercrime investigator, malware analyst, data protection officer, cybersecurity manager, and IT auditor and compliance analyst. Keep in mind that these are just job titles and they're likely to change from place to place. And just because you have a fancy job title does not mean you have a fancy job and they really just use it Honestly, I think titles are just for your ego, by the way. Take a grain of salt and pay close attention to all of the job duties that are uh, listed, and that will give you a better idea of what exactly it is. So, let's get started. Now, first cybersecurity job on my list is a network security engineer, and these people are going to be responsible for protecting data in transit, and they are going to be implementing firewalls, making sure security controls are implemented on all of the devices, they're going to be remediating vulnerabilities, working with proxies and appliances, responding promptly and effectively to attacks such as DDoS attack, and the it will vary widely depending on exactly what you're doing. So I'm a network security engineer and I just got promoted and now I'm doing web application firewalls working with OWASP top 10. Before that, I was remediating vulnerabilities on a network and troubleshooting the issues that I caused. So the, the duties can vary greatly and a good certificate would be the CCNA and this will really just teach you the basics of networking and also Cisco devices and how data gets from another. And Cisco is widely used, so it's very important to know. But remember, there's also Juniper, Palo Alto, and whatnot, which you will also need to know because you're most likely going to be working in a multi-vendor environment because that is a security control, by the way, multi-environment. The next job on this list is a penetration tester. Now, penetration tester are what you know as ethical hackers. Basically, they're trying to find vulnerabilities with the people, the infrastructure, the databases, the, the servers, the applications in the entire organization, and they're usually hired by a third party, and they're trying to essentially hack into the network. Now, rules, of course, are signed before you enter into this because it could lead to a lot of trouble. But if you really like solving puzzles and you have a, uh, I like to follow the laws mindset and not to go to jail, um, then pen testing is for you. And I am actually really getting into it right now and I find it absolutely fascinating. A good certificate for this would be the OSCP, and this will give you a good foundation of how HTTP methods work, how Kali Linux works, Burp Suite, how to read web headers, how to give you a good solid foundation of Active Directory, and how different attacks work against different technologies. It's a really good place to start. And to become a penetration tester, you are definitely going to need to know networking. Surprise! 
You'll also need to know Linux. You'll also need to know Windows and system administration. And you'll have to be able to learn various tools such as Burp Suite. Also, Python would come in handy if you want to create your own tools, but it's not necessary to get a cybersecurity job. My third title is the Incident Security Analyst or SOC. Now these titles are interchangeable and will vary depending on the company that you're at. But basically they monitor their network for 24 seven. I have SOC questions and answers video if you want to go look at that. And also again, remember these titles are made up by HR. Sometimes they actually, they have no idea what they're talking about. Look at the job duties at the end. So here you're going to be monitoring incidences, monitoring emails, providing threat and vulnerability mitigation security controls. And you'll need to know a good knowledge of IDSs, IPSs, firewalls, uh, the OSI model, network behavior analysis tools, uh, Splunk, so system information event manager, network packet analyzers such as Wireshark, various digital forensic tools. And this will depend exactly what you're going to do. And an incident security analyst job is definitely a beginner entry level job. Like you can definitely do this and a lot. It's 24 seven. So if you're willing to take a graveyard shift, it's a good place to start. As many people with experience are not willing to take a graveyard shift. I personally turned down more money so I wouldn't have to do a graveyard shift. A good certificate for the incident security analyst job or SOC analyst is the CYSA by CompTIA. And this will teach you the basics of what a cybersecurity analyst position is about. Next job, which I personally find super cool, is the cybersecurity investigator and forensic analyst. And this is a field that combines computer science, IT, and law all in one. So if you really like law, then cyber crime investigator, then a computer forensic analyst job might be for you. You're going to be collecting crime data from computers, including data, network, applications, operating systems, and storage devices in order to prosecute people in law. And some really good skills to have would be knowing law, chain of custody, and you're going to need a good basis of Windows and Linux operating systems, how networks work, how databases work, how storage devices work, and how it all works together, and how you can collect data in the most efficient way to prosecute criminals. I see some reoccurring themes here. You need to know operating operating systems, networking, and how all of infrastructure comes together. And that's because you will need a good basis of these discipline. Some degrees and certifications that are good for forensics are going to be Certified Forensic Computer Examiner, most popular that I saw on job board, ISASCA, and also JIAC also has a forensic certificate that is well known. Again, look at job boards, see what they're requiring as these will change over time. So if you're watching this in 2025, go on Glassdoor, research computer forensics, and then see what skills are being required. My next job on this list is going to be a malware analyst. And this is wonderful if you're a little bit mischievous, which I know you are. And here you're going to be analyzing source code, all the entries and exits points of all of the computers and really trying to find out how to get into a network database operating system and corrupt it. And in order to do that, you're going to have to think like a criminal. You have to understand every endpoint and output of the networks, databases, um, storage devices, applications, and you're going to need to understand the background of it. So then you can start to see gaps in how a criminal could circumvent into the network and then put malicious code. And then you're also going to need to analyze that code and see what exactly they did to bypass controls. And then you're going to need to create new controls to mitigate that, that attack that was not known. And then you're going to need to also develop new security measures because nobody is going to understand and what exactly you did. So you're gonna be responsible for doing that. So it's a super fun job. And some common certifications for this will be GREM, G-R-E-M, and C-R-E-A. The next jobs on my list will be data protection officer and ISSO. Now, if you don't like technical things and you just like learning about it and you enjoy paperwork, this is the job for you. It'll be wide open because many people don't like paperwork. So here you will be signing documents, uh, creating exception forms for a security control. You will be ensuring that things, are, policies are being pushed and followed. You will be oversight of change management and operations with maintenance and that is really important. You'll also be making sure that people are following 
these procedures. And again, you'll need to know database, wireless, networks, storage, security models, and controls in order to succeed at this job. A good certificate to get because it's so broad is the CISSP, and this will teach you all of what I listed just a second ago. CISSP is a difficult exam, by the way, not a beginner level exam because it's so broad. Um, it's an inch deep and a mile wide, they say. It is one of the best cybersecurity certificates that you can get right now to help you advance as it's tough and it will definitely give you some street cred in the uh, IT industry. Next job on the list is for people who like to manage people, and that is a cybersecurity or operations IT manager. Now, a lot of people in tech absolutely despise talking to people, so if you enjoy talking to people and you also have the technical know-how of operations and whatnot, then this is the job for you because you're going to be implementing security controls for the infrastructure, you're going to be managing your techs, you're going to be seeing what exactly needs to be done, where efforts need to go, where efforts need to be cut. You're going to be creating strategies to help your employees succeed, you're going to be coaching and mentoring. And honestly, to become a good manager, you have to be able to manage yourself. So if you're in a job and you're like, I want to be a manager, first learn how to manage your mind and yourself. And then being able to manage other people will just come naturally. You won't really have to try. And a really good cert to get would be to become a manager is the CISM and the CISSP, as these are very much geared toward management positions. And it gives you a good picture of how it's going on a good cert to get also by the way another good cert to get for this job would the, be the pmp that's project management and will teach you about gantt charts different methodologies and how you can apply them to various projects my last and final cybersecurity job along with the certificate is an it compliance and auditor now i honestly can't stand compliance and auditing i have worked compliance and auditing and i hate it but if you are extremely meticulous and you like to enforce rules and it's a lot of fun to you and you enjoy paperwork this is the job for you or maybe that's what you're already doing in your job and you can just transfer it to it and make a lot more money and this is where you're going to be making sure everyone is following the security policies. You're going to be finding people if they aren't. And there are three different types that you could do. You could do corporate, government, or consulting. And the options are endless because nobody really wants to do this job, to be honest. And if you know government regulations like the back of your hand, then you will always have a job and you'll be well paid to do this job because it's not a lot of knowledge people, number one, want to get. Number two, have. Number three, have the patience to learn. I mean, the list could go on. Uh, IT auditing and compliance and keeping everything insecure and some good certificate for this job will be C-R-I-S-C-C-G-E-I-T, C-I-S-M, and the C-I-S-A are really good places to start. Also, remember you can get online courses to learn these certifications. Um, also, keep in mind that you can check out Coursera or Udemy for these cybersecurity certifications and see if it's something interested that, and also at a low cost. So, those are my eight cybersecurity certifications along with various jobs that you can do in the IT field. Now, this is not an exhaustive list at all. This is just a little bit of a very big pond, but I hope that you gained a new awareness of various cybersecurity jobs and various certificates that you could take and hopefully I made you a little bit less overwhelmed and not more overwhelmed. Um, leave comments below if you feel overwhelmed and please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!